Hi guys, welcome back, and I am so excited. I'm getting to share another layout that I did with Chamel's Clear the Desk Challenge and her class. And so I'm having a lot of fun using up some older product that's been in my stash for a while, as well as kind of mixing it in with some of my newer. So this is, I think, I believe it's the third layout from the first kit. So if you've been watching from the beginning, um, I shared one other layout and the first one I didn't film, but I, I do share it with you and I showed you the kit that I started with. And so this layout, I'm starting with kind of a neutral background and then building up a square in the center. And for this one, the, the challenge or the idea was to use two photos and split it up with a journaling card. So that was one of the things that was in this particular layout. So I had the Chamel um, Project Life card kit box that I had got. Um, she shared it one day on Friday Live, and I think it's called Lovely. I, I didn't write any of this down since it's a hodgepodge of everything. Um, but there was one card in there that said, what a load of rubbish or something like that. And I really wanted to use it on here, but it was going horizontal and my pictures are horizontal and so I ended up using this one that says be passionately curious and these are photos of my husband on the right my son on the left when we were remodeling a house that we used to live in and so we were tearing up all the carpet and my husband's busy off in the corner and so this is exactly the way I was looking at them in the room I just panned to the right to take the photo of my husband panned to the left to take a photo of my son so my husband's busy over here tearing up the like the wood strips and the staples and all that that holds carpet down. And my son wanted to help. And so, of course, you know, we give him a broom and um, a little dustpan and he's sweeping everything up. And my husband's just thrilled because he's got somebody behind him cleaning, um, which is one of his least favorite things to do. And I walk in and my son had cleaned very well, but then he probably got just a bit bored or something and he sees the vent holes in the floor and thinks, why not? So he dumps the dustpan with all of the staples and all of that down into the, the air duct vent. So I was cracking up. It was extremely funny because it's just so him. He's so curious and he makes me laugh all the time. From day one, um, he never got in trouble very bad. Well, he did, but he just had a way of smiling and doing all that where he did not, you know, well, let's put it this way. He lived through his childhood. Um, so anyways, I really wanted to document this. Of course, these photos are very old because he is now 27 years old. Um, so I'm a little behind. Um but I struggled a bit with this because these photos are so cute. and They're one of a kind. I, I don't have duplicates of them. And, um, they probably might be some negative somewhere thrown in a box. But um, So I wanted to make sure that I really loved the layout. In the end, I'm happy with it. I'm not sure it's my favorite layout or anything. Well, I know it's not my favorite layout, but I do like it. Um, and it did document the story, so I'm happy. So if you remember in the last video, I had cut that camera paper six by 12, thinking that's what I was gonna use on that layout, and it was, I had messed up. So I took that camera paper and decided to put it in here and to pull out the blues, the dust pans, kind of that aqua blue, my husband's in dark blue, and then my son's in red pajamas, and that card had aqua and the darker blue in it as well. So that was kind of where I pulled my color scheme. So I just made a big block and then I had that red paper and I decided to pop it off to the side there just to bring a little bit of red. So now I'm starting to build up embellishments and I'm just looking for anything that's aqua, blue, and red that I can build up. And on this layout, I piled up all these little pieces. I have tons and tons of little labels and little embellishments and I really would like to get them used up. So this, this class has been perfect for that. And that little ticket there that I'm putting on, and you see it kind of at the bottom of the screen, that's kind of like a post-it note thing. So there's, I don't know, 25 or 50 of these little tickets there. And they've been in my stash forever, not knowing what, what am I going to use them for. But I thought it was great to kind of tuck in behind the whole cluster of embellishments. It repeated all the way through. It brought that aqua in, and then I could just put smaller labels with it. So I was really, really happy to use those up. 
So again, I'm just pulling through labels and embellishments, anything that I can find that will match in color and the theme of the layout. I had these little paper airplanes and this is from one of uh, Pink Paisley Paige Evans lines. I, I wanna say it's turn the page, but I'm not positive. And I really wanted to use those here and you'll see me move them around and really try to get them to fit, but they just don't work. Um, I found that one label that's up here in this cluster that has the rainbow colors and that's from Paige Evans line as well. And I thought that was a good way to bring all the different colors together into that little cluster. So I used it and then these little enamel circles and the one with the house up at the top. Those are from Bella Boulevard. It's a new collection. And I liked the little house. I didn't know where I was going to use it, but I thought this was perfect because it was kind of house remodeling. And then I had the one with the fox. So it's the right color. And I felt like it worked well since it's about him. And then I have a little owl that I'm going to put in the bottom. I painted on it because it didn't, I mean, fox and an owl doesn't really have anything to do with the photo, but the colors worked well. And I needed to repeat that kind of um, enamel embellishment there so in the end I use it I think it works I'm trying to get out of my literal thinking I'm really bad about being very very literal and if it doesn't have something to do with the, the story or the photos I have trouble using it but I'm overcoming that slowly um, I fuss here with these clusters quite a bit because I keep pulling in other things that I find I had this one that's the little gray strip and it says I am simply me and so I go back and forth trying to decide whether I want it up there or not I end up removing it and putting it down below kind of into the title so that you will see that right here um, so again I'm just pulling as much product as I can out of my stash and getting it onto layouts but I feel like it it all still supports the story and supports the photo so that's the important thing to me, not just to put the product on there to be putting it on there, but that it does have some kind of reasoning. Then I felt like I needed something that pulled all of the colors up to that top. I had that label at the bottom and then the owl at the bottom had all of the colors in it. So I found this little circle sticker and it was in a whole other collection that I don't think I used anything yet. Well, I might have used some star stickers off of it. Um, but I felt like that was perfect to go up there at the top to kind of pull all of those colors in to that embellishment cluster. I also go and find some washi in the end to kind of poke in a few places. Um, I wanted something smaller and I had these little stars. So this is, yeah, I believe that's turned the page from Paige Evans. So I have these chipboard uh, stickers and they have all of the different stars. So I try to put one of those in each one of the clusters. And then I had a couple of gray star that were just flat stickers on the one sheet. And I went ahead and put those in to kind of pull gray in because I had that gray word sticker. So I just felt like it was another way to pull in more product and some smaller embellishing. So here's the little washi. This is that washi package from turn the page that Paige Evans designed. I love these little washi packages like this. In the beginning I wasn't quite so wild about them because it felt like we didn't have very much but now that like this one's like a book you get a lot of different options so you can really add it into your clusters and and do a lot with it to pull the colors and stuff around. At this point I was really on overload on the clusters but I realized what it was as I felt like everything was kind of just sinking into the background and the photos and were getting lost in these layers. So I decided they really needed something. They needed more layers. They needed more colors to kind of pop it off of that white and that gray background. So I had this branding strip over here that had the blue and I loved the dark blue. So I, you saw me start kind of on the right hand side, but in the end I put it over to the left and that kind of carried the, the dark blue for my husband's shirt over to the left hand side. So I felt like it was really kind of bringing all of those photos up to the front again. It was making them more of the focal point. So I'm still trying to figure out, you know, can I put some more in there? Um, I thought about putting more red in. 
but I decided what I really wanted was something around the photos and I found this branding strip that's just kind of a neutral it kind of looks yellow here but it's it's kind of a, just a beige brown and I decided that was perfect to finish out around the photos so I'm gonna to put top and bottom where my husband's photo is at and then a little bit underneath the photo on the other side and that was the last little pop that I felt like the layout needed to really make the photos the focus of the layout um, and not just sink back into that gray background. And that was all I think I did as far as the papers and embellishments. I'm gonna do my journaling on that little white arrow embellishment underneath the word every day. I do pull it down just a little bit so I have a little bit more room. Um, it got tucked up there a little bit high once I finished putting all the layers in there. So I pull it down just a little bit, add a little bit of journaling onto the card and onto the arrow. I had tried writing with my white pen on my photo, but I just kind of, I don't know, it skipped and it wasn't really good, so I just decided to add it into the card. So I add a little bit of gold, Heidi Mist Color Shine, and then I'm gonna have a close-up here for you um, to see some of the details, and that's gonna be it for the third layout on my first kit. So I hope you're enjoying these. I'm hoping to get some more done. I've got another layout or two I think I can get out of the kit before it's wrapped up, and I can start on this making up the second one, so I'll try to share that with you. If you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button so you'll be notified, and we will see you really soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.